Tropical Storm Fiona went towards the Leeward Islands, hitting Guadalupe the hardest. Flooding was outrageous in Guadalupe, not just through the towns, everywhere on the island. Knocking out a bridge, tearing up the roads, and it was weak, and it's about to be a hurricane going by Puerto Rico. And it affected everybody in Guadalupe. Serious flooding all through the island. Strong enough to carry around cars and just literally destroy the town. And the damage done to the roads is unbelievable. And it was only a tropical storm. Plus today there is a large threat for tornadoes going across Iowa as well as Illinois. Hey, happy Sunday everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good morning to you. Now Fiona is about to go towards Puerto Rico. The amounts of rainfall has risen up and then it's headed towards Dominican Republic, Turks and Caicos, and curving out, strengthening towards Bermuda. And we are talking about a massive size storm. Even on radar, all you can see is this right here up close. All this behind it is still coming towards the island and it's not even picking up on radar yet. So it's about to be a long 24 hours for Puerto Rico. Now, Puerto Rico, this big circle right here means that you will get tropical storm force winds in this circle that's anywhere from 39 miles per hour to 73 miles per hour. And a little west of Ponce is where the hurricane force winds is expected to be. Plus, the center is going right in between Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic, so it won't weaken it too much with the mountain ranges. And as it goes towards Turks and Caicos, it is going to be a little bit on the east side. Still showing this morning that according to the National Hurricane Center, it will only be a Cat 2 hurricane, which is strong enough, as it passes by Bermuda. Bermuda, you will be on the east side, so there is potential impacts for you. And what I see with the Ural, that it has a great chance still to be a major hurricane, a Cat 3, all the way around the Atlantic Ocean, bringing some possible high waves to the northeast and maybe hitting Nova Scotia. Now, the hurricane warnings have stretched out to the Dominican Republic, and you have a hurricane watch right here on the north side of the island, as well as tropical storm watches in this yellow, as well as Turks and Caicos. And as of right now, Puerto Rico is at 80,000 people without power, and yesterday it was actually more. It went all the way up to over 100,000. But Puerto Rico has really been on their power, and it's been coming down quickly every single time but they didn't even get the impacts really from Fiona yet so it's about to get worse you can also see with Noah that Turks and Caicos is expected to be somewhere around tomorrow till Tuesday and Wednesday as it passes by but it is strengthening to a cat too and I did see a bunch of 940 millibars showing it will strengthen as it goes in the Atlantic towards Bermuda. Now, they only have it towards a Cat 2, but Euro has been showing and always been showing that it will be a Cat 3 major hurricane by the time we get into Thursday, going past Bermuda, and it is swinging by Nova Scotia. So we do need to keep our eye on it. It is trending a little bit further to the east, so it could miss y'all Nova Scotia. And all the model guidance agrees that it is going steady on a strengthening phase where within 18 to 24 hours, it will be a Cat 1 hurricane. And the majority of the models show it will be, no matter what, a Cat 2, but a lot of them are showing it will be a Cat 3 major hurricane within three to four days for sure. And you can see the size of Fiona. Huge system, big outflow coming out, especially from the north. But all this right here on the east side of it is what's not being picked up on a radar yet. And this is coming after you get those serious winds. So there's a lot more rainfall, a lot more chances for flooding for Puerto Rico. And you can see this on live radar. It's not picking up that big glob that's coming up behind it. But you also can see it is tightening up nicely. This system is strengthening. It is getting thunderstorms wrapping all the way around the center. And it will strengthen very fast. This is where some very warm waters are. Also some very warm deep ocean heat content that will keep this storm strengthening as it passes by. And the full impact for the next three days brings way more rainfall. It was showing a foot, it was showing over a foot. Now it's showing chances up to 18 inches and at least eight inches across the whole island. So there's gonna be a lot of mud slides, a lot of rock slides, a lot of problems in Puerto Rico for the days to come. Also the winds. So it's not showing the 90 miles per hour wind gust no more, that's a good thing, but it's still showing that you still have 70 and eight, almost 80 miles per hour wind gusts 
come into the island as this passes by. So just be aware you have some very fierce winds and a lot of heavy rain coming your way. Then as it goes in between Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico, then it heads towards Turks and Caicos. And you can see you're going to get around 40 to 50 miles per hour winds for Turks and Caicos. But Cockburn Town, you need to watch out. You're really close to this turn on this system. You could get up to 80 miles per hour wind gusts as it swings by. And the heaviness of the rainfall will be east of you. So Cockburn Town, 80 miles per hour wind gust potential and almost five inches of rainfall, three inches for everybody else and lessening as we keep going west. And I'm not showing any worries for anybody in the Bahamas. But as this passes by Bermuda, Bermuda, you are on the east side of this system and it is passing pretty closely towards you. So far, bringing 90 miles per hour wind gusts, but right to the east of you is some very serious winds. This is going to be a major hurricane. We're talking over 140 miles per hour wind gusts coming with the system. And all it's got to do is move over just a little bit more to the east, and this is going to be all over you, Bermuda. So please stay watch on this system and see what it's going to do. And we need to keep a close track on it. It's been wobbling east and west with these latest updates with the Euro. So far, Nova Scotia, you're going to get around 40 miles per hour wind gust. This is subject to change. This is still way down the road. Sydney, you could be getting 60, but St. Pierre, you could be getting over 100 miles per hour wind gusts as this heads towards y'all. It's still days away. I will keep you updated. But you can see just with the GFS and the Euro, the GFS is picking up 950 millibars, a very strong system as it comes by Bermuda. They have it for Thursday. The timing with Euro is a lot different. Euro is showing it will be till Friday. But Euro also showing a stronger system, getting down to a 940 millibars, 939, just strengthening up as it passes by. And showing as you go through today, there could be a chances for up to 17 foot waves on the southern half of the island northern half get up to 10 and 12 foot as you go through for tomorrow this is going by dominican republic right in between fiona you could be seeing over 20 foot waves from the system as it passes by then when it goes by turks and caicos it is going to bring high waves as well so chances for 80 miles per hour wind gusts over five inches of rainfall and chances for 15 to 20 foot waves as well while it's doing 30 foot waves out there in the Atlantic. By next Thursday, it is gonna be in the 40 foot waves on this system. It's not doing a lot of waves along the coast. It could be some rip tides, but as it moves further up the coast, then it has chances for 10 foot waves, maybe get up to 12 foot as you go off the coast for the Northeast. While it has 50 foot waves out here in the Atlantic. So this is gonna be a beast of a storm as it goes by, and there is chances for very high waves as it goes further up the Atlantic. So we will keep this updated. Plus you still have that wind threat. You have chances for large hail as well in this red and this black. This is where we saw those cells in the purple yesterday and still have chances for tornadoes, a 2% and a 5% for this afternoon. So here's your 2% in the green and your 5% in the brown. In Chicago, Illinois, you are in the green. But as you go through today, you will have some very high dew points all the way up to 4 and 6 p.m., bringing a lot of high 60s, even 70s for Iowa, mostly center and southern to eastern Iowa and northern and western Illinois. A big pocket of some very strong dew points, bringing a lot of Cape values as well. You're all the way over 2,000, and this one low area is over 5,000. So there is a lot of lift, a lot of convection in this area that will support chances for tornadoes. And there is a lot of wind direction change with height, a lot of chances for rotation and strong tornadoes today. So as you look with high resolution rapid refresh, right around 5 p.m., you start getting some strong cells moving through Iowa. And you see that purple, that is indicative to large hail. So there's chances for large hail to come with this system, even a couple of sleeper cell tornadoes that could be in there. So as these cells pass by all seven, eight o'clock tonight, very strong cells passing by and they're even getting a good bit of shear on it. And a lot of this is going to be hidden in a lot of winds. You have chances for damaging winds today. I'm showing up to 80, now 90 miles per hour potential chance to come with these cells. But you can see how it's just wrapped in the rain. So I think it will be a lot of winds, a lot of shear in these cells. But at the same time, it is going to be some sleeper cells. You can't see real good in there. But I do see there will be some violent cells passing through, getting chances for tornadoes as this group goes by 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 
11 o'clock and midnight. These storms are coming through all night long with a lot of shear on them, bowing it out, bringing damage and winds and possible tornadoes. And when you check your listing values, which is your wind direction change on height, you can see it's a good chance for some very violent tornadoes today all the way from Iowa center all the way to southeastern Iowa a few strong cells and it does get strong as you go towards northern and western of Illinois a big pocket for very strong cells and chances for tornadoes going all the way to midnight and those cells show that they will start bringing 60 and 70 80 even up to 90 miles per hour wind gusts as they swing through very strong winds, very strong cells. And this one is that one that I showed you that looked like it could be a very violent tornado. So please be careful. You do have a big chance for tornadoes for today. Now I put this on low level so you can see the convection coming with this storm, how it's starting to really get strong on the north side of this system right before it comes towards Puerto Rico. So God bless you over there, Puerto Rico. I pray y'all will be okay. Isaiah 52, 1 through 10. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. For thus saith the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for naught, ye shall be redeemed without money. For thus saith the Lord God, my people went down aforetime into Egypt to sojourn there, and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Now therefore, what have I here, saith the Lord, that my people is taken away for naught? They that rule over them make them to howl, saith the Lord, and my name continually every day is blasphemed. Therefore my people shall know my name, Therefore they shall know in that day that I am he that doeth speak. Behold, it is I. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publish peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, and publish salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice, with the voice together shall they sing. For they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall bring again Zion. Break forth into joy. Sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem. For the Lord hath comforted his people. He hath redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord hath made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Amen. Have a very blessed Sunday out there today, guys. God bless you, Puerto Rico. I can't say it enough. I pray for the best. The worst is still to come. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob, our Father. He's always there for us. He saved me, changed me. He can save you and change you as well. Make sure you pray to him. He loves to answer prayers. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless and protect all of you.